Hello guys and gals, this is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from Treasure Island, Florida. And if you're looking at the screen, it says the art of setting goals. Today we're going to be covering a very basic fundamental as far as your success is concerned. Designing your own life. How carefully chosen goals can create your future. Find out how the top achievers choose and refine their goals and a formula for abundant wealth and happiness. This is going to be your goal setting workshop. Profit from learning the source of unending inspiration. You're going to participate in a step by step process of choosing and clarifying your goals. And we're going to put the job of winning to work for you. How to set priorities. You're going to search, be able to search, I should say, for knowledge. How to find the ideas and information that can revolutionize your life by capturing these skills, reflecting what plan of life to buy, and three ways to learn from others. Now, we're actually going to take some time to design the next 10 years of your life. We're going to start setting your goals. Goal setting is one of the most important skills to develop if you want to design your future. I'm going to give you enough homework, not only to keep you busy for the rest of your life, but also to help you design a life you've always dreamed of, but never, but never believed possible. So, let's get on with it. The sooner you insert the discipline, the sooner you'll be enjoying the results. Once the results start to come, believe me, you won't mind the hard work and discipline it is going to take. Now, get out a sheet of paper, and at the top of it, write these words, long-range goals. I'm going to ask you some questions, and I want you to jot down the answers. If you don't have paper and pen handy right now, follow along with me anyway, listening. Later, listen again and write down your ideas. After I've asked the questions, which is the first part of this exercise, you can stop the video and work on your answers. All right, let's start this exercise. The basic question you're going to answer is, what do I want within the next one to ten years? I want you to take between 12 and 15 minutes and make a list of at least 50 things that you want within the next one to ten years. And these are your long-range goals. To get started with your list, consider these questions. What do I want to do? What do I want to see? What do I want to be? What do I want to have? Where do I want to go? And what would I like to share? Now, with these thought starter questions in mind, answer the basic question, what do I want within the next one to ten years? See how many things you can write down at this point. Don't take the time to describe in details everything you want. This is the time to let your thoughts pour, to write fast, abbreviate. For example, if you just write down SLS class, you will know what that means. That's one of the Mercedes-Benz automobiles. You don't have to describe the color or interior of the car. You'll do that later in this exercise. I want you now just to abbreviate and write fast. Make the list as long as you can. Try to write down at least 50 items, 50 things that you want in the next 1 to 10 years. These are long-range goals and spend about 12 to 15 minutes on them. After you've completed your list, you're ready for the next part of the exercise. Go through your list and next to the things that you want or think you can acquire a year from now, write a number one next to it. Next to the things you think will take three years, write a three. Next to the things you think will take five years to accomplish, write a five. And next to the things you think will take ten years to accomplish, write a ten. Now, go through this list and to the best of your ability, say, 
That looks like it'll take about a year, or three years, or five years, or ten years. Some big goals might be out there ten years from now. Once you complete this part of the exercise, you might come to the conclusion that you need a lot more three-year goals and less one-year goals, or that you need more ten-year goals. You see, while you're working on one goal, you must have something else in the planning stages. If you don't, what happened to some of the Apollo astronauts could happen to you. After they came back from the moon, some of those astronauts experienced deep psychological personal problems. And the reason for that, why, after you've been to the moon, where else do you go? That seemed to be the end or the finish. What later astronauts did was they assured they had major projects lined up after they returned from the moon. The way you enjoy life best is to wrap up one goal and start right on to the next one. Don't linger too long at the table of success. The only way to enjoy another meal is to get hungry. Another thing to check on your list is that you have included goals for these three important categories. First, make sure you have listed your economic goals, your goals for income and productivity. Secondly, make sure your list includes material items you want, tangibles such as a home, a car, a boat, furniture, or jewelry. Now, don't attach the wrong importance to things but they are important. And third, you will want to include on your list goals for personal development. Write down all of your personal development goals, your goals to be more physically fit, to lose weight, to be more decisive, to be a more effective leader, to be a better communicator, to learn another language. And of course, there are other types of goals to consider as well. Family goals, social goals, your spiritual goals, lifestyle goals. This is pretty heavy homework, but remember, whether or not you do your homework shows up in the marketplace as well as in the classroom. After you've determined which of your goals are one year, three year, five year, and ten year, and after you make sure your list includes economic goals, things, personal development goals. I want you to then go back to this list again and now pick out the four most important one-year goals. Pick out the four most important three-year goals. Pick out the four most important five-year goals. And pick out the four most important ten-year goals. These 16 goals give you plenty of work for now. Now, guys and gals, get out some more paper and in a brief paragraph, describe each goal. How high? How long? How much? What size? What model? What color? Also, describe why it is important to you. This is the process. You either talk yourself into it or you talk yourself out of it, which is good. When you're unclear why it's important to you, you usually put half-hearted effort into it. What you want is a powerful motivator, but the reason why you want it is even a more powerful motivator. It has a greater pull on you. You may find that some of your goals you thought at first glance were important are not important after all. Do some reflecting, some refining, and some revising. The point is, right now, you have four one-year, four three-year, four five-year, and four ten-year goals that you truly believe in, that inspire you, that you have sold yourself on. When these goals and the reasons you want to obtain them are clear, are clearly described, clearly described in a brief paragraph, transfer this information to a journal or some type of notebook that you can carry with you easily and refer to often. It is essential to set aside 
time every week to review all of your goals, to rearrange them, to redo them, to restructure them, to add goals to it, or to tear up the whole list and start over. You see, goal setting is not something you do once. It is a continual process. Also, you must constantly check your progress toward your goals. You don't want to fall too far behind or worse, lose sight of your important goals. Now, just as important as your long-range goals is your short-range goals. Your goals for today, tomorrow, next week, next month, or six months from now. We'll cover these in our next video, which I'll be putting together soon. So with that said, this is Lloyd Dobson coming to you from my branch office here in beautiful Treasure Island, Florida. And I'll see you on the next trip.